Hey everybody, this is Julianne and Catherine. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to share with you how to make your own moss pole or coco coir pole. And I have my plant friend Catherine here to help me. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you my supply haul. Most of the products can be found in my Amazon store. So if you check out my description box, my Amazon affiliated link is in there. Go ahead and check it out. All of the products I use on my channel is linked up in there. I did get a bunch of wooden dowels and stakes that you can get at your local hardware. And my lo my closest actually local hardware is oh, like six to nine miles away from me. So kind of far away for Los Angeles. So Catherine is prepping the, the, the products here. Wooden sticks, dowels that look like this in different lengths. And then these is, this is the other style as well. A lot of people use PVC pipes, but I wanted to go with the wooden route. And I feel like you can even staple gun if you wanted to. If, and I actually have a staple gun for uh, when I did my reupholstering on my dining room chairs. So if I need to bust out that staple gun, I'll go ahead and get it in my potty bench. Just prepping the wooden stakes, I wanted to go ahead and share with you the products that I got. There's two different types of products that I am using for today's DIY. Of course, you have the sphagnum moss. So sphag moss is pretty popular in the plant world and a lot of people use this to make their moss poles. This is probably like the most common way to make a pole is using sphag moss. So plan B and another way you can do your poles is using coco coir. And you can also get a basket and tear it apart. But you can I love find this roll, the roll. Yeah then it's easier. I feel like I've um, spent so much time cutting apart the liners that are actually already the shapes for the baskets into shapes that I want them. Oh, okay. That I can't wait to actually buy some of this myself. I'm pretty excited about that product. So yes, two ways to make your poles and we're gonna do both. So this is gonna be really Products fun. Products that you can use and this is just whatever you have or whatever route you decide to go with. I have a bird's fencing net it's like a big plastic fish net and you can use this to cover your moss so it doesn't fall off or if you want to staple it on there you can also wrap fishing line around it so you can do that as an option or you can get wire so copper wiring is also another good way to wrap your product around the pole so i probably might I wonder go which one's going to be the most visible well, I'm thinking I'm gonna do the copper wire for the coco coir because they're both like brown. Earth tone. Earth tone Earth colors. Tone, yeah. I mean, you could probably get away, I don't know, with either one. So whatever you want. I wanted to share with you all of the products brand new so you can see what they look like. And the products that I got are all linked in my Amazon store. This so should be interesting. Are, these are my DIY I'm excited. Here. I'm excited. <laughs> so, and of course, it's easier if you have a plant friend to help you. Um, because while you're wrapping the pole, it's nice to have an extra hand to get it nice and tight. Yeah. So we're going to change the point of view because the sun is about to set. It's after 6 p.m. Um, so Julian and I never have enough time together. I know. We never have enough I know. time together. I know. So we just filmed the come with me in a plant hall and my patio is already dark. So we're outside in front of my place and we're going to do it on the ground and give you guys that point of view so you can see how we are covering up the post. Personally, like I like both round and I also like the flat, you know, so we're doing it all. So you can see how you can make your own DIY poles to match your plants and the height of your plants too. And i rather have this method than a PVC pipe because I feel like when you wrap the product around it, then it becomes like really big. And, and you're going to lose really a want, lot of material yeah. too. That's I, more material. Yeah. More material, more space more money, in the pot. Yeah. More space. Yep. So hope you guys enjoy this DIY. And also sound off in the comments down below. How do you make your DIY poles and what products do you like to use? I'd love to know in the comments down below. So let's get started. So now that Catherine and I took all of the products out of the packaging, taking a look at how big the, I think they're like one inch maybe. So we don't need a lot. I'm trying to see what the end looks like. 
and we're gonna make a cut here so we don't need much because it's so big look at that so we should use this as a marker and then maybe wrap it around twice and then cut we can always cut the axis off do you think that's good mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna go from here yep how much do you want on the end well it's well we're not covering the whole pole because we're leaving some naked for the soil okay i'm gonna go right at the bottom then. that's fine we'll see if we how much we end up using of what we cut okay so this does expand so I like having an extra hand because we're going to wrap and roll. <laughs> do we need the center or do we need it to one side, do you think? And I like to also have the end that I'm not covering out. gonna do the moss version of it so what do you think cover this side first pull on this end and we have to get the other side too okay so let's flip it <laughs> we're gonna have to somehow flip it that's why we need two hands because we're gonna have to cover the underside okay. too so we can flip it this way and then cover this side What do you think? Looks good? Looks good. Okay. So now that this much is covered, good. I think this is good. Okay. Now let's roll it back the other way. Make sure all sides of the pool is covered. Is it well there? spot. Using the uh, the birds fencing it's working great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm actually very impressed. Oh, so we one have more to keep it topped while making sure all of the hole is covered. Okay. How's that looking? Good. We'll wrap Let's it around make one it more. Super tight. Yeah. How's the top looking? I think I need to pull this down a little more here. We might have to zhuzh the top a little. That's fine. I think that looks really, really good. Yeah, I think it looks beautiful. I think you chose the right length of bird net. Yeah. All right, so now, how are we holding this on in the end? We can either use copper wire or we can use the fishing net. Okay. And I'm not, I'm just gonna like make the poles and, and figure out who needs them. But this is why you need an extra pair of hands because if not, it takes a little longer. Uh, do we need to fix anything up before I wrap it? I think the top needs just a little tight tightening and judging. Should we start wrapping it then? Yeah. 
Okay. Now do we want to tie up here first? Yes. Yeah, see how it's a little thicker? Capture go. that net too that, that's folded over there. Perfect. And then we're gonna go down and up, down and up. Should we put it vertically to try to do this or no? Oh, it looks so good. Okay, so. It looks so good! So this is why I like the uh, flat piece of wood, like a plank style wood. Is any of the bird net showing or it's looking good? Nope, looks good. I think the fishing wire is the key. Yep. The fishing line. And a plant friend <laughs> is the key. You can do this project by yourself, but it's quicker if you have somebody helping you do this it. This looks so good! Yep. And very quick to make. want to go back up? Yes, we okay. do. Okay. So I'm going around on the bottom to secure and then now we're going to go right up to the top. You're such a good team. If I do say so myself. Yeah. <laughs> we're done already with one pole. That was so quick. So cute. And how you make so a moss pole. Ta da! Now we're gonna have to tie. Yeah. Yay! Not to cut knot. Does that not show too much? That'd be good. And then trim the bottoms and we're done. That was so fast. That was a good idea. Such a good idea. I'm gonna sell them now. <laughs> <laughs> One down. That was so quick. Hi, right. Abby. How many can I make out of that? Oh, <laughs> you have so much net. So Starting my own second, third, fifth, sixth business. So much net. How far do you think? I think right there. Allows us to wrap at least twice. Ta da! All right, here we go. So now that you got one done, how was it? With the both of us? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Imagine trying to do it by yourself. A little bit more. I think here. a lot. I think, you know what? It'll be interesting when we do with the cocoa liner to see the differences. But for this, because it falls apart Part, so yeah. easily, I think two, 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 two people. people. Just hoping it ends up looking the same thickness all around. So far, does it? Uh, pretty good so far. Okay, now what do you have in mind? Philodendrons? What are you yeah. thinking? Yeah, Pothos and philodendrons. Yeah. But my expensive babies first. Fucking good. I know. Oh, how exciting! <laughs> <laughs> You know you're a crazy plant lady <laughs> when you get excited about moss. Well, what do you think? I think it's looking great. Yeah, it's really good. Over that wrap part that I just did. Okay. okay let's go back up the top. I'm gonna come over this side. It's starting to look pretty uniform. See fishing line. Mm -hmm. Can't even see it. Yeah. 
and the clear bird fencing. Oh, what did you do on a Friday night? <laughs> Make poles for my plants to climb on. Yay! Yay! What do you think about the bottom? Here, cut uh, some stuff off, maybe, or yeah, cut some stuff off. Okay. Well, what do you think? I like it. The Enough? amount that we left to on the bottom is Both good. This, oh, you know what? They what? really don't look that different. I can see the difference. You can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Nah. Okay. I have to say, if if it was a time crunch, yeah, then I would just be choosing this. this one. Yeah. Okay. And I feel like also, even though this has a different profile to it that looks like it would be less material, I feel like this, we used less material on really? the broader board. I really do. Now, for the Coco Coir. Ooh. Okay. And remember. That's a lot. We can stretch it too. That's a lot of product. You know what I mean? Look, look at this. At least get the most biggest pieces we can. Still better than like tearing up a basket. Yes, it is. Tuck and roll. <laughs> See, this is nice too. Look at that. Mm -hmm. How thick should we make it? Should we do one more? Right at least, there, at least. Right there. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Okay. So now we're cutting. Wow, I'm gonna that leave wasn't... some here because yes. I don't know what's gonna happen at the top. Okay, that was not that much product. No. That was so fast. All we have to do is wrap. In. Look at that. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, when it comes to uh, wires, there's different gauges of wires. I, I chose a really small one that's good for like beadwork so that you can't really see it. And also, the cool thing about wire is that it kind of holds its shape as you wrap it around. It's more taut than like fishing line. I don't know. I like both. I, I'll do a lot down here. Like I'll do okay. so crisscross. Crisscross. And then I would go maybe a little bit more wider going up. Big up Pilates instructors. Yes. So we found uh, Catherine is uh, the rapper. <laughs> Yo. And I'll be selling this on my. Uh, <laughs> if you're it's and look how I tuck the tail under that under the pole. Yeah, that's the only part that I'm wondering if that will aesthetically you know yeah, if we'll that see. if we'll manage to make that look as good as the rest of it now Kat as you're wrapping this coco coir what's easier to work with coco coir or spag okay so the spag is harder to organize initially okay but easier to wrap and the cocoa is easier to put on initially and harder to wrap okay there you go 
Aesthetically, which one do you like more? I think we have to finish this one and then hold them side by side okay. so I can get a real... I'm already trying to get my thoughts <laughs> and we're not even done. <laughs> Don't pressure me. Don't pressure me. <laughs> I like both, so I, that's why I wanted to I share know, both this, methods. You know what, as I'm going up, I really thought that the copper wire would be like very, very visible, but as I'm going up now, and maybe it's because it, it's getting darker outside, but it's more hidden than I thought it would be. And I think especially in a space like yours where it's very verdant and like really lush and really shady, I think this would this would just hide in your space. Or the it, plant would just cover it. Yes, yes, yes. I think the part that you want to see, which is for this to look natural as a base of support, I think that is all gonna happen. It takes about what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes for one mm -hmm. pole? So, so much prettier than like a metal stake with um, rubber on the outside that you're going to get from your big box store. Right. And I love DIYs. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're almost there. I know. I'm holding the tail. <laughs> oh, my grandma would be proud. <laughs> Okay, so how do we, there we go. How, how do you think we can get this top part? I don't want to mess it up now at the very end. One more. Wow, looks so good. Jolyn, now the question, how do we, I feel like we might want to like tuck top. it. Okay, um, tie and tuck. So we have to get a little creative here. Yay! Well. Oh, it's so cute. As the sun goes down, the DIY continues. Let's see. What's easier? I think they're about the same. Let's try to get the nice edge for the bottom. Bird netting mm -hmm. with the fishing line is perfect for the moths. I feel like it's a little harder, harder to get the cocoa liner on the round. round. Okay. So as you can see, we worked through the dark, <laughs> but we did it. Thank you, Kat, so much. So as you can see, it is easier if you do it with a plot friend, and of course, it's fun. You guys get to bond, and if you guys love DIYs, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I love doing DIYs by myself, but certain things I like when I have somebody with me because it makes things more fun. So if you enjoyed seeing Catherine and I uh, do two different types of poles and you can see them side by side. So here is this bag wrapped around a flat piece of wood versus a round piece of wood. And for this method, and I'm not like measuring it as far as for like how much I want I'm just eyeballing it for the bottom because I'm just going to use them for any plants in my collection that needs staking, which probably there's a lot. Philodendrons, pothos, pothos is what I'm probably going to do first, my rare babies. But as you can see, with the invisible uh, birds fencing netting, you can't really see it. And I like, how was it to use that bird fencing around it? Really easy. 
surprisingly easy. It was very easy, but again, it's it's easier when you have an extra set of hands to pull it taut as you wrap. And then for the finishing uh, tying up process, we use the invisible fishing line. So as you can see, you can't really see anything on it at all. And nothing else is holding the moss on except for the products that I used to wrap it. So I didn't have to use my staple gun and bust that out or anything like that. So that was really good. And as far as for flat versus round, Kat, any preference? I am liking the flat. And, and perhaps this might have to do with the fact that it just seemed easier okay, to easier. make the flat. Yeah. Okay. Aesthetically very pleasing. They're both very aesthetically pleasing. And how do you, did you like working with wood versus like PVC piping, which a lot of people you use? You know what? Um, I'm thinking that the PVC might have been slippery. For this, I feel like it would have been hard because it would have just slipped right off as and we were working. And use my product. Absolutely. Use more yeah, product. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like using wood too is a little bit more sturdy, but that's just me. Um, and then let's just talk about leaving PVC pipe in the world. Right. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, I'd rather go with the wood method. So I wanted to share with you two different ways on how to make poles. I like both ways, so let's talk about the second way. Yay. So here is, oh, I love that we did both, flat and round <laughs> for both. So as you can see, we use the Coco Coyer liner, and again, you can tear up a basket liner, but I was lucky enough to find a roll um, on Amazon. So if you look in my Amazon so store, in my description my box, you'll see my Amazon affiliated link there. You can find the Coco liner roll, that, which was like really easy to use. Super easy. And as far as for products use, Kat, now do you think it, we're using more Coco Coyer versus moss to cover these poles? And which one was easier to work with? flat or round for coco coir and also using the copper wire versus the fishing line okay so one thing that we experienced was the tensile properties of the copper wire it is for this gauge copper wire which is the wire that looks invisible uh it, it does break a little easily so be careful when you're tying your knots and when you're twisting around your poles or your boards. I feel like the cool thing about the Coco is that we were able to split one sheet in half. So twice as much product, product right? You know, we, I don't think, did you know that? I didn't know that initially that we would be, be able, able to, to do get, that. Yeah. So basically we had twice as much product to work with. So I'm not going to say that we used, you know, more or less of one or the other, but it's, I think it's just really cool that we didn't have to use a lot of product for the Coco liner. You have so much material left now. Um, that I can open up a store. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You're going to be able to open up store. The fishing line was very, very easy to work okay, with. Okay. Versus copper wire. Mm -hmm. And also because it actually stretches a little bit. I okay. feel like you, you know, it's, we're not maybe using as much because okay. it's so stretchy. Um, and those are my thoughts. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, um, I like both products. I know a lot of people don't like to use um, this bag, but I like both. And I wanted to share with you on the channel that you can do either one, Coco Coir or Spag, and also what it looks like to have it um, be done on a flat piece of wood versus a round piece of wood, or if you're gonna use PVC pipe and just the aesthetic of it. I have more. Uh, products and wooden dolls to cover so cat whenever you can come over and help me out that'd be awesome <laughs> because it's easier and faster when you have somebody helping you I know if I was gonna do this by myself I probably would have been only maybe able to do two for the amount of time and I feel we like with the it. two of us working we could make these look neater, neater right because yeah. somebody's pulling somebody's tucking somebody's holding somebody's rolling and I am in love with these so stay tuned uh, Abby is barking outside in the middle of the dark. If you guys enjoyed this DIY, seeing Catherine and I work through the dark and enjoy DIYs and seeing how you can make inexpensive poles for your plants, give this video a big thumbs up and stay tuned because I'm going to be doing more. And the next time you see these poles, I am going to be doing a whole separate video on staking my plants with these poles, which I look forward to doing, especially for like my trailing plants that really need some TLC. I do have longer pieces of wood too for my bigger babies. So let me know when you can come <laughs> over because it's like 
a lot longer than this but this is pretty fast we spent about yeah. what maybe 10 to 15 minutes if that on one on each one yeah so very fast to make and once you have the products you can just continue to make more so if you enjoyed this video seeing Catherine here in my space on a Friday night which is uh, kind of funny when I was doing the project with her I was like oh what are you doing on a Friday night making Holes for my plants is what I'm doing Only on a crazy Friday night. People. <laughs> Only crazy plant people. Only crazy plant people. So thank you, Catherine, so much for coming over and hanging out on the channel. And stay tuned because I'm going to invite myself and the channel over for Catherine's fall plant tour since we missed her for the summer. So if you enjoyed this video with Catherine, sound off down in the comments down below. If you make your own moss poles, what products do you use? Do you like uh, using moss versus coco coir? Do you like using PVC pipes or wooden pipes or bamboo is another one that you can use. Uh, fishing line versus uh, copper wire, stapling it down. I love to know. Um, there's so many different ways to use uh, products and to make your poles and this is just two ways on how to make them So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new welcome to the channel subscribe I do a daily upload at 5 a.m. On the channel sharing plant life and my adventures here in Southern California and beyond and I'll see you guys tomorrow until next time Aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye